we are aiming to model the, the states inside of an internal combustion engine. And in a previous video, we derived we derived uh, um, differential equations that tell us how pressure is going to change as we go through the cycle. So we derive, so here, let's just draw a, so here's my volume and here's pressure. So here's a cycle. Let's draw just like a arbitrary, ooh, like this, Hope. like that, there you go. Some sort of arbitrary, this could be, that's uh, not quite peaky enough to be an order cycle, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've got this sort of a bizarre cycle here and we've derived two sets of equations. So one was for closed cycle. So our closed cycle ODE, ODEs, these are D, P, D theta is equal to, I'm glancing at the sheet there so that I'm gonna cheat a little bit, is equal to K minus one over two pi N V of theta dq in dt minus kp v prime of theta where p is the pressure over v of theta and then i have a differential equation for work dw out is the work done out of the system so to the piston itself d theta is going to be equal to p v prime of theta like this so if i integrate those two uh, together, then uh, what I'm doing is I'm solving uh, for the conservation of energy inside of a closed system. Okay, um, if I wanted an open system here, I'm just going to switch equation. So for an open system, it turns out we just have to add this term here. We just have to sum plus k minus one over, uh, actually I've got the same, two pi n v of theta. And then the sum of the mass flow rate going in or out. And then I have to add another equation to track how much mass I have inside the cylinder. Oop. Dm d theta is going to be equal to the sum of all of the m dot i over 2 pi n. There we go. Like this. Okay, so now if I solve those three equations, then I'm tracking the state inside of the cylinder. Uh, if there's valves that are opening and closing. Um, okay, so now we need, actually here, I'm just gonna, I'm going to, let me just replace this term here. This dq d theta, I'm just gonna write this as, oh, sorry, I'm gonna write in the right color. This is one that belongs to both sets, either closed or open. Get the right color, it's gonna be in black. I'm just gonna call this q dot in. All right, where the dot is just a time derivative. So now we need models for all of these different bits. So I need a model for Q dot in. So I need a model for how much, I need a model here. Uh, I need models for M dot, need models there. Uh, where else do I need a model? Actually that is, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, We're going to first look at, well, we have to identify what processes are happening, right? So these, the M dots, the mass, this is mass going in or out. This is what we call gas exchange processes. So this is mass leaving the cylinder. This is mass entering the cylinder. Um, uh, let's see. So we need a model for how fast does the mass flow up based on the state inside the cylinder, uh, based on the velocity of the fluid going out, based on you know, the shape of the exhaust or the intake and so on, and what's ambient pressure. Um, Q dot, well, that could be two things. That could be uh, heat transfer to and from the cylinder. So remember, we have our, our assembly like this. We're losing heat constantly, Q dot. Uh, this is Q dot out. Here, I'm gonna name it Q dot HT. HT, and I can have some Q dot here, I'm gonna draw it as a coming from nowhere, uh, boom, just gets added in. This is Q dot combustion. It's the rate at which heat is added. So these are gonna be equations that depend on most likely the state inside the cylinder and the environment as well, the type of fluid that I have and so on. 
Uh, and then we're just going to substitute these in and we're going to uh, integrate. So here, let me split our q dot in. This is going to be equal to q dot coming from combustion minus q dot heat transfer. So minus the amount of heat that I'm losing. This is usually heat transfer models go from the hot place to the cold place. So this is going to be based, this is going to give me a positive amount of heat loss, hence the negative sign. Um, actually here, let me draw these. Uh, let me write these in blue. I'm going to rewrite these in blue just to make it clear. This is where we need distinct model. Q dot combustion minus Q dot heat transfer. And here I'm going to go ahead and rewrite these here. Actually, oh, probably going to need a model for some of the enthalpies. I, H, I, and here I need an M dot I over here. M dot I. So any uh, any variable that is in blue is a place where we're going to need to provide information to the model that we are then going to integrate into, or yes, to the model. Uh, I didn't mean integrate in the sense of numerically, but integrate in the sense that we're going to combine inside uh, our equations in order to solve the problem. Um, okay, so now in a sequence of videos, we're going to go through step by step each uh, models for each of these different uh, each of these different components.